I've talked several times about changing fonts. Now it's time to do that. I'm going to triple click to select that paragraph and change the font for that entire paragraph. I go up here to the format menu and choose from the font menu show or hide the font picker which is down here and it's a built-in part of Mac OS X so many applications can use it. If I want to find a new font here I can browse through different sets of fonts but I can also type in a search term and I'll look at times and if you notice here I changed the font. I can change it to bold or bold italic but I'm going to come back right now to regular and I can also change the size and I can use the slider to change the size. I can add shadowing to it and if you watch as I change the shadowing you'll see that the effect of the shadow increases and decreases and I can change the direction of the light source for the shadow. Let me increase this so it's more obvious what is happening here. So you have a variety of tools that you can use to provide emphasis. You can see that shadow here around the text and all there are many fonts built in you can choose underlining and I have to select something to underline it a double underline I can use a strike through and many of these commands are also available up here from the text and the font menus now I can select all of this text and in addition to changing the font I can change the color for the text and I come down here and I open what is called the color picker this is the font picker down here this is the color picker and I can use a variety of interface elements to change color for example I can come here and notice how the color changes as I click I can use this slider to increase or decrease the intensity. I can use other ways of describing color other than the palette here. I can use the sliders here and in the case of RGB sliders or CMYK sliders there are numeric values that I can type in here. This is very important if I'm trying to match a color. I can also use various palettes of, for example, the web safe colors. These are colors you can use that will show up properly on the web. I can use various image, various ways of describing color and selecting color, and I can use crayons. Most people, if they're trying to match color, use either any of these sliders where you can type in the numbers and if you just want to look at a color you can see the immediate results here but if you like a color and you say this is the color that I'm going to want to use you can drag it down here to your palette and here this is another color that I'm going to want to use for emphasis I'll close that close this and come up here to the format menu and I will choose show colors to open the color picker and now instead of using one of the standard interfaces I can say ah these are the colors that I've set for this document and I just drag them out of here at the bottom into the document